Good morning, kids. Math crunch number two. Should be a quick and easy read. We won't be here too long. However, make sure that you're using the pause button and let me know if there are any hitches. Number one, identify the rational number. Is it A, the square root of nine, B, three sevenths, C, pi, or D, 17 and, I'm sorry, let me read this as a non-decimal. Uh, D is 17.27321, continuing on endlessly. Again, hit pause. Number two, identify the real number that is an integer, but not a whole number. A, 12, B, negative nine, C, negative three and two tenths, or D, the square root of 15. Number three, identify the two consecutive numbers that the square root of 12 will be between. A, 12 and 13, B, 11 and 13, C, 2 and 6, or D, 3 and 4. Number four, identify the answer to the cube root of negative 27. Is it A, negative 9, B, negative 3, C, 3, or D, 9? Number five is your first ERQ. An artist wants to frame a square painting with an area of 400 square inches. She wants to know the length of the wood trim that is needed to go around the painting. Determine the length of the painting. Explain your answer. Determine the length of wood trim needed to go around the painting. Again, there are three different parts to this. Um, you are talking about determining the length of the painting the length of wood trim to go around the painting and make sure that you explain how you got the length of the painting. Number six, explain the steps used to estimate the value of the square root of 23. Again, explain the steps used to estimate the value of the square root of 23. That's it for crunch number two. You guys know how to get a hold of me and make sure that you're showing up for your live sessions so we can be doing some one-to-one -one work. Have a great day.